Hey guys, so it is that time again and we are going to do another BoxyCharm unboxing but this time I'm going to actually like do like a try on style so I only have foundation on right now um, so I haven't peeked, I haven't watched any videos so I have no idea what's in here so we are going to go ahead and check it out. Baby knife. If you hear it munching, you know, it's the animals. Oh my god, I just stabbed the shit out of my table. Oh, whoops, okay, I guess I should close that. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, I just took a huge chunk out of my table. I guess that's fine. So, opening it up, looks like the theme this month is glitz and glam. So, the first thing in here that catches my eye is this crown brush and it says it's a pro blush brush feels kind of dense kind of um, i don't know it's kind of dense but it's kind of fluffy at the same time it's pretty soft not the softest but it is pretty soft i like how it has this little dent right here for your little finger um so that is by crown brushes and that retails for 12 dollars. it says with the super soft dense Synthetic bristles, this brush can be used to both powder and cream blushes, and it provides medium to full coverage for dramatic finish. So, since we got a brush, obviously that means that probably there's something for blush. Well, this is for blush. There's obviously probably some blush in here since we got a brush for the blush. And I'm guessing by reading, it's this big guy. So this is by Real Her, which we get a lot. This is the Be Fearless and Be Limitless Blush Kit. This is what it looks like in the packaging. It's actually really pretty. It's white and then it has rose gold reflective lettering. So this says it's paraben free, certified cruelty free, gluten free, and has natural ingredients. So you get three Big pans, let me take this plastic out. So you get three big pans and these are the colors. So this one is called Fearless. This one is Limitless and this one is Unstoppable. These two are a bit much for me. My blush colors are typically not like that. So I don't know, maybe I'll just I don't know, I think I'm gonna go with a little bit of this one and maybe a little bit of that. Now, these two do have sparkle in them. I don't know if you can see that. You can see in the pink one. I don't know if you can see in the brown one. But it does have some sparkle in it, so I guess we'll see how that goes on. Well, that's nice. So with this brush, if you stipple it on, you can definitely build it up. But then when I got too much, I could just do this and it kind of got rid of it for me. So that's not too bad. Made me look kind of more contoured. I don't know if you need to blend out a little bit more in the front. See, it's very pinky. Like, I don't know if you can see it. I'm just not a very pinky blush kind of person, which is why I was. I'm trying to go for more of this tan one. But, yeah. Well, it doesn't look bad. I actually. No, I don't, I don't dislike the colors. Let's just swatch them and just see what they look like in their own. So that's out of order, but that's what the three shades look like. So this is actually the first one, and then the second one, and then the third one. So some of them do have some reflect. Now the swatches, it definitely shows up as just straight glitter. But I don't, I don't see any actual glitter like on my face. I guess a little bit luminous, I would say, since I don't have like any highlight or anything on. Um, but since we did that, I'm going to go ahead and contour as well because I feel really weird having blush on without contouring. So, to do that, I'm just going to take the Cap on D Shade and Light palette and mine is like hella broken. So I have to take, slide the mirror off the top so that I can use it. And the bottom fell off too when I glued it, but I haven't gotten around to glue the mirror back on. Now I'm going to use this Morphe M, 
523 brush just to quick contour a little bit, even this out. Feels really weird to have blush on and nothing else on. Two TBH. The next thing in here, I'm gonna go with, oh wait. Always do it, always do it. So, the where is it? So that brush kit, like I said, was by Real Hurt. It retails for $32. Um, it says, treat your cheeks to an instant natural glow with three shimmery tones. So apparently they're all supposed to be shimmer. Even though that metal one is not at all. At all. Like when I swatched it, that was that was full on matte. But anyways, so next I'm gonna go in with this because I don't know what it is. Um, but this is by I don't know if it's Beauty Basics. Is that how you say that? I would think. Oh, it says Bronze Essentials. Bronze Essentials. So this is a bronzer. <laughs> Since I just bronzed. So this is actually kind of cool. So it comes with a couple, a couple different colors, as you can see. It's got some stripes in there. So there's some gold, and then the dark. And these two, see, like I would use this as like a blush color, even though it's really not. But since we have it, I'm gonna do them all. Let's just, I guess, bronze a little more, even though I'm pretty freaking bronzy already. I'm like, I'm too bronzed already. I look like I've been in Florida and I live in the winter. Okay, well now, now I'm like officially <gasps> way brown. I have to, I have to. There's too much. I'm too white down here. <gasps> Does anyone else do that? I would hope so. Well, I guess technically you're supposed to carry foundation on your neck, so why not your bronzer if you bronze your face too much? Wow, okay. So I like it. It doesn't seem like it went on patchy. I do actually see a little bit more reflect in my forehead than I did before. And since I just like piled that on my forehead, I'm gonna say that's because of that. So this is, like I said, the bronze essentials by Beauty Basics. Now, just because I'm curious, I want to see if this would be like a good highlight shade. So that's that gold color if it wants to focus. Not really. I wouldn't use it as a highlight, but since we're just gonna, we're, we're just gonna do it anyway. Why not? That's definitely really pigmented and obviously super, super gold. I'm just gonna go shopping with my mom after this. I'll just look like I got back from Florida. It's fine. If you have a deeper skin tone and you're bronze enough to use this, this is a good highlight. Super, super golden, but I'm not mad. All right, so that's what that looks like now that I'm all highlighted. My dog wants out, so I'll be right back. I'm kind of scared to go outside because, like, once the real light hits me, I'm going to look so ridiculous. It is by Beauty Basics. It retails for $39.95. It says use individually or mix together for your ultimate bronze and glow. Obviously, it works if you just mix it all together and the highlighting works on its own. Okay. So the next thing in here, I'm going to grab this, which I'm actually glad to see this because I got a little sampler at some point. I don't remember when. Oh, sorry. And it was like, you know, one of those teeny tiny ones. And I actually really like this mascara. And I've been looking for a new mascara to try. And I didn't... Let's go ahead and put it on, okay? I forgot. Oh my god, I forgot how much I actually like this. I like the one, like I like that it's the shorter bristles and that it's plastic. It separates my eyelashes so good and I feel like it just makes, by separating them so good it makes them look so long. Like I don't feel like my eyelashes have looked this long in a while. I don't even know if you can see that. I need to curl them. I should have curled them but I really do like this mascara. I think it makes... I think it makes my eyelashes look pretty freaking long. 
So that retails, that was obviously by Tarte, and it's the Tartiest Lash Paint Mascara. A jet black vegan mascara that has a molded brush that grabs and coats even the thinnest, tiniest of lashes for a 2,700% more volume. I didn't need to say for 8%, but obviously that's how much volume it's supposed to give you. The last thing in here is this. And obviously everything in here is full size. This is by Pretty Vulgar. I love the packaging. I'm not a flowery girl, but that is freaking cute. Um, this is the color. It looks kind of like a metallic-y color. Okay. So I think the color is Secret Sabotage, but my lips are sealed as like the line. Because it says, Pretty Vulgar, my lips are sealed, lightweight, liquid lipstick. Retails for $24.00. And it says a highly pigmented liquid lipstick that provides a radiant metallic finish, nice, comfortable, creamy texture, and a citrus cordial flavor. I don't know what cordial is, but already then. My lips are pretty dry, so I'm going to put just some chapstick on before just because. It comes with a really long doe foot applicator. I love. Who doesn't? I mean, come on now. Ooh. I actually really like this color. Alright. So that is what the color looks like. I actually really like it. It's nothing like, obviously not something that you'd wear on like a daytime look, but it's nothing that jumps out at you too much, especially for being a metallic. I like that it's kind of like a, a nudie metallic color. I actually really freaking like it. Hmm. Um, so that was everything in this month's box. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. So anyways, Thanks for watching, thank you for letting me ramble on, and thank you for just surviving this awful video and this terrible lighting. Um, but I will see you next time. I think my next video I'm going to post is going to be an Amazon favorites. And I've got quite a few goodies in there that I'm excited to share. So until then, I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Ta-ta.